what I try to do with my work is to bring to the stage or to the museum a very strong sense of not understanding rationally what you're seeing. I strive to mix the human and the technological elements into each other in a way that you can't really take them apart anymore. I'm an artist working between performance arts, body art, technology, installation, and sound. My main focus is the relation between technology and the body. My initial access point to using technology in the arts. For the first time working with a bit of programming, learning how to work with interactive sound, I created a musical instrument that is called Xsense. It's a wearable sensor that captures sounds from the body, heartbeat, blood flow, bones crackling, and stuff like that, and allows you to compose these sounds in real time. So as you move, you produce sound with your body, and then you move again, and you can manipulate these sounds uh, through the aid of a computer. I started researching disability studies, gender studies, at the same time also rituals and ritualistic performance. It helped me define a bit better this kind of intuition that I had about the importance of crushing the idea of normality. Now, amygdala is an artificially intelligent robot. Amygdala uses this artificial intelligence to learn how to cut her own skin. This is a ritual that is practiced in several areas of the world, and uh, it's an animistic rite of purification that consists in cutting your skin in certain patterns. You end up with a drastically altered body, and the pattern that you have on your body resembles a particular animal, which is a deity for a particular tribe but it's really about the bodily performance of this robot and how and to what extent it can learn this ritual. It can learn to cut itself without destroying itself. My name is Anna Rajcevic. I'm an artist, designer, working in intersectional sculpture and design. I met Marco in London. Marco is more performative arts, which I haven't had any collaboration beforehand. My role here was to basically respond to Marco's research and idea, give him a visual uh, response to and design the robot, or think which materials, what will be the skin, how it's going to look, the proportions, and everything around it. I really wanted to see how it could work, not just on a performance on the body, but seeing my pieces move and bring it into them life. Can a robot be artist? The idea of artist is a human idea. Robots have no human ideas. All, all these comparisons that are being made between human and becoming robot and robot becoming human, like they make no sense at all. A robot is a robot, is a piece of metal, you know? And it's dead until you switch it on. I'm a piece of flesh and I'm always on. You can already switch me off anytime until you kill me. We are different things. But this does not mean that we cannot coexist, does not mean that we cannot co-create. The beauty of it, it's exactly how we manage to combine the different and particular capabilities of human beings and machines into something meaningful. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.